What's up guys, it's Joshua C here and today I'm super pumped and excited because I've got another beast with me here and this is not just any ordinary beast but my favourite gaming phone, the Lenovo Legion Phone Duo 2. Yeah, so if you guys remember on the last unboxing of the Lenovo Legion Phone Duo, I'm already impressed with it. So I can't wait to show you guys what's inside this one. Now, I'll definitely not skip the unboxing part. Check out the details of the box you got here. It's just like getting a new laptop or something. So, you got the Legion branding on the side of the box and a Legion logo imprinted on top. Open it up, you get a dual opening like a gate and wow, look at that. It auto elevates the phone up while you're opening the doors. That is just wow. Let's put the device aside first and look at other items in the box. It has the slogan imprinted in each box. Stylish outside, savage inside. You get the custom silicone back cover, type C to audio jack converter, SIM pin tools, menus, and yes, the super 65 watt dual type C charging brick and also two type C charging cables. Okay, for the phone, the one we got here is the ultimate black color and there's another one which is called the titanium white. So my first impression on this phone was just wow because you still get the same form factor as the previous model but a new design and also tech specs on it. It now comes with a slick reflective smooth surface with a blue metallic chamfer on the side of the device. It's just crazy. And if you notice this center bump here, other than having a much sleeker and slimmer RGB logo on it and the dual camera module, there's this real fan on top of the logo, which is the world's first built-in active twin turbo fan cooling system. So it has two cooling fans here, the other one lies here. And on top of that, you have four air triggers, L1, L2, R1, R2, and also two more virtual keys on the rear beside the bumps. So you got a total of eight virtual keys adding up together with the two in-display touch points. So I would say playing games on this device is just really like playing on a game console rather than a smartphone. On the display, you got a huge 6.92 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display supporting HDR10 Plus and up to 144Hz refresh rate. So you can set from 60Hz to 90Hz to 120 and 144Hz for your refresh rates. It has a peak brightness of 1300 nits and flicker-free DC dimming brightness control to avoid any flickering of fatigue. And the most unique feature on the display is the world's leading 720Hz of touch sampling rate. This will not just make your display super smooth but also super responsive. So, under the hood, it is powered by the Snapdragon 888 5G chipset coupled with 12GB or 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM and up to 512GB of UFS 3.1 storage. So performance-wise, there's no doubt about it. Alright, so now let's check out the whole gaming experience. Okay guys, now I start recording. So, this is how I look without the blend-in mode and here I blend in. Okay, and you got tons of new features like the AR mode so I can turn myself into AR guy or girl. Wow, okay. So uh, turn that off. Look at myself. And let me blend in. Alright, right. And I can place myself anywhere I want. Okay. And let's go continue on doing it. Guys, the responsiveness is pretty, pretty smooth. It's really smooth. It's not pretty, it's really smooth. Now if you notice, the sound quality is superb too. You got dual front facing speakers with Dolby Elmo sound and four noise reduction mics. With this setup adding up with the improved pop-up 44 megapixel selfie camera, you can strip up stream your game with it seamlessly, even in low light situation. And because of where and how the pop-up camera is positioned, it is perfect for streamers. You got tons of settings for your streaming mode too. Now as for the cameras, you got a 64 megapixel main camera and 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. Camera qualities are decent. So this is the video quality of the selfie camera, the 44 megapixel video quality. 
And guys, check it out. This is the dual camera mode and even the selfie camera, you can put yourself blend into the rear camera. So you can, as you can see now, I'm blending and I can place my head up quite big. Okay. And I can straight away do an unboxing with it. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yep. It's, it's just that it will take some time to focus on the stuff. But remember, this is not a camera-centric phone, but rather a gaming-focused phone. So I'm pretty sure most of you who get this phone, the camera quality is not the main focus, but the gaming experience here is your main concern. As for the batteries, you got a larger dual 5500 mAh battery which splits into two equal sizes placed on both sides. And with the dual charging ports, one on the side and one on the bottom, you get to charge your batteries up in just 30 minutes. So the one we got here in the box is a 65 watt charger but you can purchase the 90 watt charger as well. And the other unique feature of this phone is the three layers battery protection. First you get the bypass charging feature that allows you to directly switch to the power provided by the cable and bypass the batteries which means it will use the power from the cable instead of draining it from the batteries while you're charging to avoid overheating and battery damage and the second one will be the automated switch to slow charging when it detects that fast charging is no longer required. This will also help prolong your battery quality and last will be the overcharging monitoring feature that will stop charging the batteries when your batteries are fully charged even if the cables are still plugged in. So overall, to me, this Lenovo Legion Phone Duo 2 is really a gaming vis. The starting price tag for this phone is 3,299 ringgit and if you're a gamer or a streamer looking for an upgrade or looking for a new gaming phone, well, this phone is definitely your choice. And if you really want to ask, is there any cons to it? Well, if you really want me to nitpick, I'll nitpick on the cameras because the camera module is still using the same one from the previous Lenovo Legion Phone Duo 1 and I really hope it can have some upgrades since this is the second version, right? So that's all from me. What about you? What do you think about the Lenovo Legion Phone Duo 2? Let me know in the comments below and also if you like this video, a subs and a thumbs up will be highly appreciated and I'll give you a lot of love for that. So I'm Joshua C. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to click the bell icon and also follow my Instagram as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! -bye.